Hey everybody, welcome back to the Frigid North. Of course, back here, here again, working on the 300ZX, the slick top. Um, we got the engine out the other day and uh, waiting on some more gaskets to uh, put everything together on the other one. So we've made some good progress, but uh, some work still needs to get done before we can put her back in. So I'm actually going to take the time to clean up the engine bay a little bit. Um, I didn't do it before just because I want to get this car on the road and didn't want to take the time to do it. But now I've got some more time, so we're going to clean her out and uh, yeah, hopefully the paint still looks good. If the paint still looks good, we'll, we'll try to really clean it up and maybe buff it out a bit. But um, we're not going to go to too many lengths right now to, uh, um, to really shave it or anything. We might uh, do more tucks and shaving later on, but for now I just want to clean it up and uh, just kind of make her shine a bit. I mean, you see how dirty this is. It's uh, it's really bad. I did some tucking. Uh, I'll show you this. Normally there's uh, right here, uh, the wiring harness, the wiring harness that comes up here, goes to the alternator, comes up to around, and then goes to here where there's three plugs. Um, but I moved those plugs underneath the headlight. Really bad, but uh, yes, the headlights there, so they're just under here, uh, right here. Um, and then, yeah, and then the other one, instead of running it, yeah, um, coming up along here, kind of kind of around the along the frame rail, and then going up and around uh, to over here. So, instead of going up and around, I'm gonna keep it going basically straight along the frame rail. And then down and underneath the frame rail right there, which is where it pops right underneath. So that should be good. That should work out no problem. Um, I'll clean up a bunch of it. I might relocate the other main box over there. Uh, this guy. Uh, I can people. I can well. Yeah. It, uh, there's enough room on the harness to actually take it all out and then move it out and basically just underneath, well, it's more like underneath here, underneath here kind of, it brings it down and underneath. But I have a lot going down all, um, there already, I have the, um, I got one of the intakes down there, so I was, the cell end is right around there, um, then I got a mask there obviously and some piping going through there and the intake there also have the PTU down there so there's a lot less room already down there so I might do that in the future but for now I just want to clean it up and uh, yeah I also would like to change out this um, power steering I see, see this we got the power steering um, reservoir here and, uh, and then it goes down see here all right here's a good view yes yeah, so the power steering review uh, is up here and then it comes down and it goes around the frame rail and then across and back up basically it goes all the way back down to here which is I mean from there to there so I might try to get a new line or make a line and go straight down essentially right over to there so I'll just go along the the bottom subframe there, and then I don't have to, because going through the front here, um, yeah, so all the pipes, the radiator obviously sits here, and the pipes go down. So this thing keeps getting in the way, and it just barely fits, and I bent it quite a bit to free up room, so um, the pipes had enough room, but it's still really tight, so if I can change it up and yeah, just bring it all the way down and over. Um, it'll make so much more room. And also, while well, the stuff was getting in the way for the pipes that go down through here as well. So free up more room. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna clean this thing up. Get all this dirt out of here and try to clean up some of the wiring and we'll see how she goes.
I got a little more cleaning to do, but I think that's all I'm gonna show you guys for today. I just gotta do the bottom there a little bit and um, still gonna do some rerouting. I'm gonna put a one piece clutch line in still. Um, I don't know, we'll see. We'll see how much time I have out here. I'm gonna just do as much as I can until parts come in and then wherever I'm at, that's what it should be. I really, really wanted to, as I was cleaning this out, um, I just really wanted to just strip everything prep it and paint it um, but I just I don't think I can do that right now I really want to get on the road I'm not driving a car or I don't have a like a nice 300ZX or a nice car I should say in general on the road right now I got my motorcycle which is awesome and I'm riding that a lot but uh, I just really want to get get a car on the road so uh, yeah it's just not gonna happen this time but it'll happen in the future I'm sure I'll do uh, I'm definitely will do it in the future. Uh, there's a good chance at some point I'll paint the whole car, or get it painted. Um, at that point, hopefully I'll have another car on the road. I can be driving that, and then when I get this thing painted, I'll take the engine out and we'll just do everything. Um, maybe it seems a little silly to pull the engine again, but uh, that'll probably be sometime down the road, maybe a year or two. Uh, who knows? I might want to put a different engine in. The plans keep changing, but that's how she works. So for now. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna do a little bit more, a little more cleaning, a little more tucking some wires and changing things up a bit, but not too, too much more. Um, and then we're just gonna leave it as it is for now. And then in the future, we will do a full, a full tuck and a full shave, and we'll get rid of everything. Um, but uh, not this time. So maybe on the next car, actually, I might do that on the next car since I'll be driving this one on the gold car. Um, so yeah, I got a lot of plans for that. I can't wait to get working on that, but I can only get working on that when I get this thing going. So I need to get this thing on the road so I can actually do something pretty crazy with the gold car and just have some real fun with it. And then once that thing's on the road, then we'll get back to this one probably. Um, who knows, maybe I'll have a different project by then as well. Um, got lots always going on, so. Never really sure how much I should show you guys or what I should show you guys, what you guys want to see, but uh, I'll stick with the 300s for Ah, uh, you know, next couple episodes, I guess. But uh, thanks for uh, sticking along with me this time and watch the full thing. Make sure you uh, like the video and subscribe and uh, keep following along. And uh, I'll keep you guys always updated with everything I'm doing. So uh, thanks, guys.